Okay, let's continue our lesson with uh, um, finding the symmetrical point to the y-intercept. Now, we know both the standard and the vertex form at this point. And uh, if you recall, this is our, our standard form. This is our vertex form. So we know that from the standard form we can uh, uh, we can find the coordinates of the y-intercept. And we know that the y-intercept is, uh, uh, our y for the y-intercept is given by the term c. When x equals zero, this equation y becomes equals eight. So the value of the y-intercept, the value here, and let me change color to highlight it, the, value that we find here it's y equal 8. So if I were to write a table with the values of x and y I could write that that coordinate is 0 and 8. Now what I'm looking for what I want to find is the symmetrical point to that y-intercept and that is the point that's located right here. Okay. Now, we know as a fact, because that's what we, what we have, uh, uh, the way we have set up the, this point, we know that the y stays the same. y is exactly the same as the y-intercept. So if we were to put the value uh, here on this table, we would write y equals 8. The problem is that we don't know at this point what is the value of, uh, what is the value of x. This is uh, un unknown, and this is what we are looking for at this point. So, another thing that we know from the from the uh, having transformed our standard form into vertex form are the coordinates of the of the vertex. So, these are the coordinates of the vertex. We know that this point right here is located at seven halves and minus three halves. This is our point. And uh, um, if, you, if you look at this graph, you can easily see that uh, because the parabola is symmetric respect the axis of symmetry that we have right here, this is the axis of symmetry, this is the axis of symmetry, x equal minus three halves. As we know that the parabola is symmetric, we know that the distance between the axis of symmetry and uh, this point and, uh, uh, and the y-intercept has to be the same as uh, the axis of, uh, axis of symmetry, the distance between the axis of symmetry and the y-intercept on this other side of the parabola. So these two distances have to be exactly the same. But we know that this distance is exactly the coordinate of the vertex, the x coordinate of the vertex. We know that it's minus three halves. So this other distance must be minus three halves as well. Oh, actually I should drop the, I can drop the minus here and I can just write three halves and three halves. These are, these are the distances the two distances. So the coordinate here can be found by multiplying by two the coordinate of the vertex. So this point here, this x, uh, will be equals two times h equals two times minus three halves, so minus three. We can change this value to minus, to minus 3 and this is how we find the coordinate of the y-intercept again sorry the coordinate of the symmetrical point to the y-intercept by multiplying the we find the x by multiplying the coordinate of the vertex by 2 and of course the y stays the same as the y-intercept and this concludes our brief lesson.